What's the difference between a two wire, three wire, or four wire RTD? And why would you choose one over another? First, let's understand how an RTD works. This is a thin film 100 ohm RTD. Inside of the ceramic housing, there's a thin layer of platinum. That thin layer of platinum has a known resistance of 100 ohms at zero degrees Celsius. As the platinum heats up, that resistance is going to change in a very predictable and accurate way. All you need to do is hook up these wires to a temperature transmitter or DCS system. That temperature transmitter will then take that resistance and correlate it into a temperature using a table. Technically, you only need two wires to build an RTD. But if the temperature reading is a result of measured resistance across the element, then what about the resistance of the lead wire? In a two-wire RTD, this extra lead wire resistance is not accounted for, creating inaccuracy. A three-wire RTD has a redundant lead wire on one side. This extra wire is used to measure how much resistance the wire itself is creating and then subtracts that resistance so that you are only measuring the resistance of the RTD element. This is the most common configuration for industrial applications and provides adequate compensation for lead wire resistance. A four-wire RTD fully isolates the resistance of the RTD element from the resistance of the lead wire, and it's recommended for applications requiring the highest accuracy. For more two-minute tech videos and other great content, click on the subscribe button below. If you have any questions, visit riotemp.com and click on contact us. Thanks for watching.